How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Supreme Tennis and we're continuing with our stroke analysis series to help you further improve your game. And if you want to add up to 50% more power on your forehand, make sure to practice and apply what we discussed in this video because it really is a game changer. And then also don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more of our content. So we're going to be speaking about two very important things in this video, two extremely valuable tips that will instantly have an impact on your forehand. The first being timing and how you can incorporate proper timing to produce effortless power. But what is good timing? Well, it's the ability to prepare early and allow yourselves the time to implement the correct technique consistently. Also, players with good timing tend to not rush their shots and are able to build maximum momentum and energy to release into the ball and this results in maximum power. The second tip is to do with footwork or more specifically the type of stance and something many of you advanced players should be doing a lot more of if you want to take your game to that next level and win more matches. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So on to the first tip and to explain proper timing and how we can use this to literally double the amount of pace you put on the ball. I'm gonna break the shot into two parts. The first being the backswing leading up to this point, where we then transition into the acceleration phase, otherwise referred to as the forward swing. So we have the backswing and then we have the forward swing. And to get maximum racket head speed on the forward swing, we must focus on the backswing first, the building phase, the part where we build all of this momentum to release into the ball. Now look at it this way, the more rushed your backswing is, the less energy you will be able to build and therefore the less racket head speed you will be able to generate. When you turn to prepare with this first part of the shot, you should feel that you have given yourself enough time to build momentum to produce that explosive forward part of the shot, that explosive forward swing. Let's take a look here at Mina from another angle. And also it's just worth noting that this concept can be applied on the backhand as well and also on the serve. But yeah, let's look again from another angle and we need that very smooth and relaxed backswing. And a good indication that you are timing this correctly is to say in your head, or you can say it aloud, but say as you start the backswing, say one. Okay, so as soon as you start the backswing, say one. And then as soon as you start the forward swing, say two. Okay, so it should sound something like one, pause, two, one, pause, and then two. If it sounds more like one, two, one, two, without the pause in the middle, then you know you are rushing the shot. And this is a clear indicator of poor timing and ultimately a lack of power. You can actually just try this simple drill at home now. So grab your racket and just shadow some forehands. Try a slow and relaxed backswing and then accelerate into the forward swing fast. Remember though, even though we have broken the shot into two parts, it's still one continuous motion. So keep that racket moving when you transition from the backswing into the forward swing. Now try the same with a fast backswing and you will see how much less acceleration you will achieve going forwards as little to no momentum has been built. So apply this concept when you next step on court and you will see instantly how much heavier you will start to hit the ball. So let's just take a look at Mina doing this on her forehand in real time. And you can see how much power she can generate just by applying this simple concept. Moving on to the second tip now, let's watch these forehands again and what do you notice about every single one of them? Of course, they are all hit in an open stance. Now, if you are learning tennis as a complete beginner, the first shot we all add to our portfolio is the forehand and most coaches will teach the closed or neutral stance if, if you're at this stage in, in your tennis journey as a complete beginner. And this is just because it's biomechanically easier to learn 
with that type of footwork, the closed stance or the neutral stance. And that's partly because stepping forwards ensures that your body does the necessary rotation more naturally without having to put too much thought into it. It just, it just kind of happens. However, the open stance forehand is something that all advanced players, not even say intermediate players too, should be adding to their game. It helps you to deal with faster balls. It helps you to deal with higher balls and, and shots that you hit whilst on the run. So it is clear that not being able to hit an open stance forehand will have a huge limitation on your game. And if you want to see a whole video on how to hit an open stance forehand, just let me know in the comments section down below. But let's just briefly look here at how Mina loads on her outside foot and pushes off this foot up and into the ball. And then just again from another angle, this time having to cover half the width of the court pretty much and dealing with the ball that almost gets behind her. The type of shot that she would only really be able to deal with using an open stance. So yeah, let's wrap up guys. And that's another one of our stroke analysis videos. We opened up with a very vital tip at the start to do with your timing and how you can utilize good timing to literally double the amount of power you get on your forehand. And then of course the importance of the open stance in the modern game. So feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions, we respond to everyone. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna try and keep up with a minimum of one upload per week, so stay tuned. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be the first to hear about all of our new content. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.